Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. This time we're looking at a housing item and in particular we're looking at some brick paving today. This is something I've been having my eye on for a while now, but it's fairly simple to actually craft. Uh, this is actually an alchemy based craft as you can see here on screen. It's a level 80 alchemy recipe with 1866 craftsmanship recommended and it uses five clinker bricks five fire bricks, three mortar, and three volcanic tuff. We've made six of these today. So let's show you how you actually make some of the individual things. So you'll see here, clinker bricks are made with grenade ash, salt stone, and potter's clay. Um, the fire bricks themselves are made with mudstone and potter's clay. Not too difficult to obtain. And of course, we've got mortar on here as well. Made with limestone, lime sand, and distilled water. And uh, also, we have a volcanic tuff. So, yes, fairly simple to get a hold of. Not too difficult. And these were added in patch 5.4. We've got six of these. They are coloured, as you can see, so you can dye them. The little dye icons here. Uh, a lot of people have actually been using these to learn mechanics in the world of uh, the, the, the Cloud of Darkness, which is the first boss of the new Eden Savage. Um, a lot of people have been laying these out, putting Grid Snap on. And actually using this as a good demonstration for the actual platform and figuring out how to actually deal with the mechanics um, which is kind of a really cool idea but this is what they look like they come in this sort of normal terracotta coloration and they sync perfectly together if you lock them together look so when one brick ends another one begins so you don't have any horrible overlap which looks really good we've got six of these today to demonstrate and that's what they look like. Very nice. Um, obviously, one of my pet peeves with housing items, especially outdoors ones, is that we can't use like these textures instead of the grass. There should be a toggle option. You should be able to go to like exterior, remodel exterior, and there should be another section for the ground. Um, that's something I hope they add in the future. And personally, I think it would save a lot of, um, obviously, space. That's the one thing that would be on everyone's mind, because each one of these six, you know, it's taking up six housing slots for the outdoor area. In a large plot, we have 40 slots total. So you can imagine if I wanted to pave the entirety of this large plot outside, we'd have, well, barely any room for anything other than the paving itself. So if you want to have a driveway uh, for your regalia, this is definitely the best way to do it because you'll have no other slots left for anything else. They look pretty good though, the terracotta is obviously a familiar colour as most people would have in their driveways. They're not too thick, but they're you know just above the actual ground level, so there is a bit of a step up as you can see. Um, they do, like I say, sync together quite well. You can just about see the edges of each of the tiles, so it's not completely impossible to see them, sadly, uh, but they've done their best to blend them in. So the other thing is, obviously, you can have these different colors. Uh, so let's dye these. Well, let's preview them in different colors then. Um, here you go. So we have them in rose pink. They dye quite dark, no matter what the color is. Um, ruby red looks really bizarre. It looks like a bright pink. Look at that with that reflection mapping. Very, very bizarre. Very cool. Of course, you could have the uh, yellow brick road if you wanted to. If you want to follow the yellow brick road, you can totally do that. Looking pretty good. Um, seems to work really nice in blue, actually. Um, but of course, if you've always wanted some paving, or if you wanted to learn some mechanics for bosses, this might be a great way of doing it. I see a lot of people, actually, they put basically a square of nine of these down, have the, the middle one a void, so we have that purple, and then they work out uh, which platforms they're standing on with their tanks and healers and DPS. It's actually a really, really good way of, of practicing the fight without being inside of there. I really quite like that. I saw that on uh, on Reddit the other day. I was like, well, that's really good use of housing items. So apparently that's pure white, by the way, on tiles, which looks, well, at least on my screen, looks blue. Um, so there's that. And black looks, well, kind of like tarmac, actually. Looks quite good. Nice reflections there. Very cool. So yeah, that's pretty much all this video was to show you what this looked like and what you could do with them. Um, obviously you could float glitch these as well and the underside of them is exactly the same texture. So there's nothing to worry about there either. Yeah, pretty cool. I quite like these. Um, 
especially for the use of you know learning mechanics in regards to do would i prefer these to be baked into a, a setting so you can just toggle the grass into stone into tiles into other things yes i would but this is a pretty good idea nonetheless until then anyway let me know if you've picked up the brick paving yet if you have yet to craft these i know currently they go for about eighty thousand gil on my own server per um paving slab so might be a good way of making some gil on the side but yes, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.